There we go. Yeah, I don't know much about the Nexus interface, but it's apparently the server's GUI. Okay. Oh, I did not want to go that button. Persona. Because that's how you get to help. Advanced commands, contact staff, renaming items, town candy. What is town candy? Lightweight NPC plugin. Okay, for VIPs to use. Interesting. Okay. Yes, all right. I'll follow you up. There we go. Yes. I was a little late on getting that line out, but... Mm. There we go. Okay. Right. So you and Barilac don't live together? Right, okay. Be mostly alone aside from animals and such. Yes, welcome, Sarah. Okay. Dwin Tenuvial and his mate Briar. Saved for once, and that was months ago. Hmm. Ah, busybody. I was just about to ask. I think he gave me some food. Thank you. I was about to ask if he wanted him back. There we go. Okay. There's a lot of really interesting stuff going on in, in Wandering Souls chat right now, but I'm going to have to go. Ah, nice. Nice. Okay. Monk bread. Fires in an eternity. Okay. Yes, you first. It started raining. <sighs> but where am I going?
Yeah, but you said something about a stable. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, some chairs here if you need rest. There we go. Ah, oh, there's so much stuff going on in OC chat. I need to look back through it, but hurry up and leave. I'll be good. There's so much stuff going on in uh, Wandering Souls chat. That's like stuff about. There we go. Okay. Yes. Take care. Okay, now I need to start reading back through this. It was right after Sarah joined. Okay, uh, 13 professions to choose two to begin with. Uh, let's see. Eventually get all of them. Only humans can study all of them, but they can never master them. It's a level system. You can level any human to about halfway across the board. Oh, okay. Lagorific. Then humans die of old age. Uh, what about demons and angels? Uh, that is true, pretty much. Humans work so hard and then die of old age so quickly, like real life. Uh... Demons and angels are more lore-based characters, meant to be RP'd by mainly, yeah. It they're more meant more for events, so the event team and the the GMs. That's the way it's always been. Even we never RP'd Ariel. We RP'd uh, some of Ariel's actions, but we never actually RP'd Ariel herself. Uh, relatively speaking, we live fairly long. Let's see, OTC not so much. Uh, let's say I want to be human, but I only RP is that person for like a month. No. Yeah, auto aging system. We create the character you choose whether or not to activate this. Oh, automatically age you once every two weeks. Damn. Damn, I did not mean to do that. Is there a way to turn that off? 160 weeks, human. Interesting. Uh, let's see. You can always cut it shorter, faster, every two weeks. I thought it was every week. Let's see. It allows you to age your character up. Do you ever respawn? Ever? Yes, when you die, you respawn in CT. RP leave. You forget the situation that caused your death. Can't return to where you died for 30 minutes, though. To kill yourself, then you have to primal kill your character, I think. Graves that live the longest. I see. Yes, suicide is permadeath. Unless you're me and you died from zombies and you need to get your crap back. Elves live the longest. Also, quelled with auto-aging, it's every two weeks. I know from experience. I had iron, so I was like, screw the rules, I want my crap. Of course, in the end, my valuable stuff despawned. Almost died from zombies. How do I turn off auto-aging? Is there a way to do that? Okay. What is a Dread Knight? Dread Knights are peely or tormented and tortured souls bound to a suit of armor. They're immortal and forced to follow it. Do their Dread Knights bidding. Dread Knights start off as cultists and apply yada yada. Okay. Not so interested in that. Let's see. No, wait. Wait. There we go. Is that your character's... There we go. Yes, turn auto-age. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How's that fair? It's supposed to toggle automatic aging. Are you kidding me? Eventually this guy's gonna die. 
Unless I get a mod to fix it. Uh, well, hopefully that by that point I'll be candle again. If not, well, then I'll have to start over from scratch. I don't know. I could go back to being an amnesiac with a new persona again. I don't know. That would actually be kind of fun, I think. Being amnesiac and being known in the world. Anyways. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back to looking at our help menu here because there's still so much. Soul stones. Soul stones let you traverse world quickly by binding your soul to powerful pillars. You may also travel to the home of your current persona's race. The amount of pillars you can bind to increases the longer you play on your persona. You might eventually learn how to create your own pillar out of redstone, yada yada. Let others teleport to it as you see fit. Okay. Yeah, they're talking about role-playing as trees, which is really ridiculous. Work benches? Craftsmen create their tools on a series of workbenches. Most workbenches are tied to skill or profession. When you advance in a skill, you unlock more craftables in that workbench. will craft items faster. Once you become inept in a skill, you will see most of your workbenches' options are locked for you. Select fewer professions to prevent this. Okay. Available workbenches are masonry block, tinker's post, cauldron, workbench, anvil, tanning rack, and pestle mortar. Right. Okay. Item repair, calendar, buddy list, alchemist, chef, woodworker, breeder, enchanter, stonemason. Learn about that. Chipping away raw materials into useful resources or beautiful works of art makes up the life of a stonemason. Stonemasons will likely start out carving raw stone into usable bricks for simple and sturdy constructions. As the stonemason becomes more skilled in his craft, he will be able to work with more exotic and rare materials, carving them into whatever form he wishes. As well as this, the stonemason will find himself chiseling away with increased speed and precision as his proficiency grows. So yeah. I think being a stonemason is what I would be. But what are the others? The other one that would fit me fairly well is Miner. Miners train and profit by hewing precious ores. I mean, it fits as a dwarf. Even inexperienced miners may prospect gold and iron, but more precious ores will require a practiced artisan. For the more exotic stone types like diorite, granite, and the hellish netherrack will yield only to more experience with drop rates dependent on the miner's skill. Do not mine rock or use jewels beyond your proficiency. You will only damage your pickaxe. Truly grand miners will find ores where others would overlook them. You might obtain precious gems and ores from any piece of stone. Interesting. Okay. Welcome, Kirsten. So, what else? What else? There's so many other professions, too. Farmer, that's what Ypres is. Lumberjack, leather worker, tinker. What is a tinker? It's a, it's a candle there. Uh, creating ingenious and useful devices and circuits makes up... Oh, that fits candle perfectly, but... Well, partially. It's like so many of these things that fit Candle partially, but not perfectly. Because he, he was architect, he was engineer, he was inventor, he was scholar, he was historian. He was so many things. Ah. Oh. Unfortunately, I am not a redstone genius. So. Woodworker. Humble woodworkers start out the trade by creating everyday tools and pieces of furniture. As a woodworker becomes more skilled, they carve any number of items with great speed and precision. A skilled woodworker will also see benefits present, present themselves to them in the art of fletching bows and arrows. Woodworking may be a plain trade, but it is versatile. And an adept woodworker will always be able to find work. Right. Okay. Breeder, Enchanter, Fisher, Blacksmith. Well, Candle's father was a blacksmith. His mother was a soldier, if I remember correctly. I'm not really sure. No, she might have just been a miner. I can't remember. Ah, uh, Blacksmith. Blacks da, 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 da. Blacksmiths will likely start out their trade by crafting ferrum tools and simple chainmail armor, as well as repairing damaged tools. 
So if blacksmith becomes more proficient in their craft, they will find themselves able to work, yada yada. I'm not sure I want to become a blacksmith. Oh, I'm, that's kind of what I'm doing right now, is trying to figure out what I want to do in here. <sighs> I'm thinking my best bet is to start out as a miner and then become a stonemason. At the least, I'm a dwarf, so I have an innate talent at mining. I don't think I really need to learn about any of the others right now. Let's see, renaming items. Uh, Bedrock VIPs may give their items a custom name. Custom item names are formatted like this, or like this if the item is enchanted. Player name items are a suggestion to roleplay. It is recommended but not mandatory to observe and follow the name's meaning in roleplay. Event team members may rename items that, that will appear as such. GMs can name items that with any color but frequently format them like so. Items in any of these colors have RP meaning that must be observed. Re to rename an item, use slash rename item name. Okay. What? Half your meanest? No. Yes, ask. Is there any a way to turn off auto-aging? Ah. <sighs> See if anybody answers. If not, oh well. But I think that's about all we need to do here, and we still have what? 15 minutes, something like that? Uh 13. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Right. Edit itself if you toggle it. Whoops. Meant turn off, but whatever. Don't know if they're talking to me or not, but whatever. It's still raining. It's still raining. This is actually a fairly well built stable. I mean, he's got a bunch of donkeys, he's got. Bunch of horses and hay. He's even got rabbits. He's breeding rabbits and chickens. I don't want to move on to a new persona. Ugh. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, I'm kind of stuck for now. But hey, at least I got 250 in-game years, right? Right? Okay. Actually, this is kind of cool hanging out just in Wandering Souls chat. Oh, it did stop raining. Duh, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's actually walk around a bit. Let's take in some of this stuff if I can. Because this is... That's an interesting house. Is... Was I correct in... Wait, where did Epres go? Did he go down? Is that where he lives? Underneath the, uh, the, the stable with his, uh... With his farm? Or... Does he live in the house here? Can I... Ooh. The hell. There we go. I think I lagged out of the, the chair. I wasn't supposed to leave yet. I didn't mean to leave. Okay. Now... Theoretically, I should not be able to open this. Yes, it's locked. Okay, just what I thought. I can use that. And, okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. All these different things, none of which I can craft. Repairs. Interesting. Okay. Let's see, can I... Open the door. Nope, can't open the door. Right. Okay. So I think it's time to maybe start wandering around a little bit. See if I can't find my way around here. I don't know. Find my way back to some sort of town or something. Sorry, Pris. I don't mean to just leave you or abandon you, but I'm curious about this world. 
and you don't seem to be around. Wow, there's a lot of people online. Never even realized that. Okay. Let's see. There's this path. What is with the, uh, what is that, redstone? Is that redstone or wool? It looks like it mo might be wool. Yeah, that's wool. Can't break that block here. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm following this path. I don't know where it's taking me, but I'm following the path. There's some sort of farm here. It's a nice farm. Of course, we have this wall, which is a decent looking wall. I've seen better, but I've definitely seen worse. It's actually, it's pretty well designed. It's a bit blocky for my tastes, but I mean, it's Minecraft. There's not, there's only so much you can do. Just kind of wandering around. Can I get through? Last raid. 714. Next allowed. 717. So this is like some kind of fort or something. Citizen door, PM. Shadow Oblivion, yada yada for perms. Nope, can't get through. So I don't know what this place is. I wonder if... No, that's not actually going to lift. On uh, Celestial Dreams, we had a plugin that actually allowed portcullises to lift. It was really awesome. Like, every, every town had at least one gate. Hello. I don't know who this is. What's this say? Aspects bless your path. Narnalea. So somebody's continuing on there. Yeah, asterisk. Ah, Quilled explained it better than I did. Oops, what's this up here? Unapproved use is a crime. Approved labors only. Okay, locked with a magic spell. Interesting. See, I'm really liking the way this texture pack looks with, with all the models and everything. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but this is uh, brightness to 50 for full experience. Do not enter dedicant task. I'm confused. As you enter, the hum of nature overwhelms you. I don't know what this place is. But yeah, the texture pack I'm using is uh, Conquest. As so you approach a strong wave of heat can be felt making you somewhat uncomfortable. Is that is that a shelf? That's a shelf. Oh my god, that's a shelf. It's a shelf. It's probably actually a picture frame, but god damn it's a shelf. It's like all these extra details. So you enter an area the area an icy cold wind hits you. I don't know what this this probably has something to do with druids. Those damn druids. This has to have something to do with druids. Anyways, let's get out of here. Let's do more exploring, I think. Okay. Let's see. Still don't know what's really around here. What's this? Farm rules listed by Adriani, head farmer. All wheat must be turned into hay via the crafting table. Farm as you please, but make sure to replant. Don't touch the potatoes unless you're a master at farming. Uh, herb donation chest. Ooh, awesome. So, I think if it's donation, can I? I can't. I can't take it. It won't let me take it. You can put stuff in, but you can't take them out, or at least I can't. A whole bunch of stuff. Hey, you can take seeds out of that one. Okay. Wow. A whole bunch of seeds everywhere. Okay. Don't touch potatoes unless masterful. Whoa, look at the cactus. That is different. That is really different. And the posts. Oh. I know a lot of you are like, 
but this is like what 1.8 has been since 1.8 coming out. Well, I've been playing 1.8, okay? I've been stuck on 1.7 because I don't want to upgrade my private building server. Mostly because I don't want to deal with uh, having to try to track down all the plugins I need right now. Not when there's no bucket 1.8. So there are people about, which is awesome. That is great. That is, okay, that is pretty cool looking. I'll admit that. It's the same same build style we've been seeing, but that, that's pretty cool. I don't know what this is. Is this a town or city or something? I don't know. I can't get inside the walls. Ugh. Welcome, Mary. Ah, that must be Ninja. Yeah, it is Ninja Survivor. Okay. I'm kind of heading through the forest right now. How much time do I have? I got what? Four minutes? Four minutes. This is another interesting wall. It actually is really interesting. I mean, look at it. It's a really effective use of stairs in order to uh, give more depth to it. What's this say? The aspects guide us all. What are these aspects? I don't know what aspects are. I have actually no idea where I am whatsoever. At all. None. Not a zip zilch. Okay. Turn down your brightness for effect. The Druid Mother Grove. Donate leaves, logs, and bones to the Druids. Roots tangle together, blocking any entry. They may be... Uh, they can only be moved by druidic means. In other words, only the druids can come in. And I don't need to do that right now. I know there's somebody like right behind there, but I don't need to do that. They aren't saying anything, so I'm just going to keep moving on. Okay. What is over this way? I have no idea. This could just be wilderness. It might be... Whoa, there's some... Uh, there's something up over here, at least. Let's get that bread out there. There we go. What is this? This is some kind of camp. Somebody's camp. Is somebody using this? The Kalitz Humble Tent. Mal's Tent. Yeah, all of course, all these doors are locked. Some other person. Awesome. That is awesome. Isaac's tent, much cooler than Ellie's. Gregor's tent. Please notify me that the tent needs removed. The same counts for the chests. Okay. What is interesting? I don't know. Okay. Well, I think that is it for now. Um, I might still continue playing for a little bit, uh, wandering around, trying to figure something out, but I'm not going to be recording. So I think that is it for now. Uh, these videos will continue coming out every day for the foreseeable future at noon. So uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. This is Candle. Good night.